I believed should have um, the same as a backbench member of parliament. Bearing in mind that a backbench member of parliament has no budget, has 70,000 residents, and has a staff of about three. Leader of a council has a seven, I have a 700 million pound budget, budget I'm responsible. I have about six, 7,000 staff and have a 250,000 population. So it's not really an equal, but it's as equal as they could possibly make it. And so they said, OK, if the leader of the council is on the same as a backbench member of parliament, then the cabinet is, I don't know, 80% of the, of the leader's salary. The overview and scrutiny chairman is 40% of the leader's salary. If you are the chairman of licensing or the chairman of regulatory services, you, you come in this place three or four times a week. You're expected to be here all the time. So, so you're paid a little bit more than the standard overview and scrutiny committee. So it's all broke down in relation to responsibility and it's not allocated about how much time you spend on a particular job but on the responsibility that you have. So Stephen, for instance, has the responsibility for adult social care. We have more elderly people than most, in, in fact, any other London borough. Um, so it's a very big responsibility. And he also has responsibility now for public health and the whole new public health agenda, the way in which we're going to work with the PCTs and the hospitals to ensure better health care, better health care outcomes. So that's a specific role. It doesn't mean to say that he spends 24 hours a day on that role. It's paid on the role that he does for the council and its complexity and the amount of, if you like, the responsibility he has to deliver that role. So yeah, it's... it's you know, you said about responsibility, but basically, I know for a fact that you have legal advisors, you have consultants, you have people to refer to. It's not as if you're making a decision completely blind. You have lots of people to refer to, this, lots of people to answer questions. But this is such a shallow approach. To it's not a shallow approach. All we want to know alone. is what we're paying for. Well, it's not let, shallow. Let we want to give you the opportunity to show us what a wonderful well, like you do. Well, I'd like to get the opportunity to actually answer the question shallow? without you interrupting for two seconds. It is a shallow... But it is a shallow approach because if you look at nine years ago when people were paid very, very low salaries in the council, um, this council was actually graded weak. It was one step out of having the ministers sent in staff to run the borough. What year was that? That's nine years when the Labour Party were running it. And running it to the ground. Since then, since then, I... Well, since then... Don't ask Ray Harris, he'll tell you differently. Since, since then, on social services as an example, we have gone from weak to excellent. We're the poorest funded social service in the country, in, sorry, in London. That's the ability of, of cabinet members. It's not necessarily whether I work 26 hours, 36 hours or 96 hours. I've got all sorts of responsibilities. I'm chairman of the Waste Authority. I'm a sixth form governor. I'm lead member for planning. The, 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 the tasks are myriad, but the success of the borough is what we should be measured against. This borough is the cleanest it's been for years. Why? Because we've got people who are dedicated to getting street care good. Why is social care good? Social care is good because we have put professionalism, and I do work full time at it, a professionalism into making it work. And it's not how much I earn, it's the result that is important. And the, re the result is, no, the result is that with a small number of people, we've turned this borough down from being a basket case ten years ago to what it is now, which is one of the best boroughs in London, one of the places people like to come and live, and actually that gets very, very good value for money. Where else, where else have we gone from in 2000 9, 10, 11, 12 percent council tax increases to the last three years, 1.2, minus a half, no, no. Well, I agree. Uh, I, agree. I agree. That's exactly the point. Absolutely. So, so, so we Absolutely were paying agree. a lot of money for a council. We were, there was a lot of money being. There is a Stephen, limit okay. to how much Stephen. you can be told. And no, Stephen, 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 I'm quite happy to 
take that away. I'm quite happy to look at what other councils do, and if I find a system that enables to do it, I'll do it. But what, as I said, I'm not happy. What I won't be doing is implementing a system that puts any further burden onto this council at a time, at a time. And as far as you know, if you want, well, you know what I do because you follow me on Twitter and all over the place, so you know. I, well, well, okay. Well, things happen, but you know how busy I am. And I don't, and I think the recorder know that as well. And there's never ever a question about. What, what I do and what I don't do. Um, so thank you for that, and I will send you the link. I, I want to get to. Yeah.